Hey guys, welcome to Home Sweet Homeschool. If you're new here, my name is Ashley and I'm a homeschooling mom to one. And today's video is part three in my three part series of how I choose homeschool curriculum for our next school year. So if you missed parts one and two, I'll link them down below. And I also have a really helpful video about something you need to watch before you purchase any homeschool curriculum. So I'll just put all those down in the description box and you can check that out. So part one, we talked about reflecting and I shared our reflection sheet and I talk all about it. Part two, I talked all about graduation requirements because if you don't know, I have a ninth grader right now. He'll be going into 10th grade and I always every year like to check our homeschool requirements and then I was looking for graduation requirements. I'm not going to talk about that in this video because that was in the last video. So you can check that out if you want to see that. So in this video, we're going to talk about my most favorite part, which is where the curriculum comes in, the researching the curriculum. So that's what this video is going to be about. Now, if you hear screaming in the background, I promise nobody is getting hurt. My son is just playing a big Fortnite match with a bunch of his friends and they get a little, little extreme. There's some hollering. There's some, um, do y'all say hollering? We say that in the South. There's yelling, um, a lot of loud laughter. So if you hear that, I'm sorry, they're playing Fortnite. We're not killing people in the other room. They're just playing Fortnite. So we're going to talk about the fun part, the curriculum part. We are so blessed to live in a time that there is so much good curriculum. Everywhere you turn, you're going to see great things. And what is so Ah, what is so sad about it to me is there's just not enough time um, and I don't have enough kids. I only have one child. And so I see all this good stuff that would be great to use with littles. And then I think, oh, you know, I, I wish my son was little, but I love where he is right now. So I'm not going to get all mushy and gushy. It's just that there's so much good stuff out there. It's really hard to determine what do I really need? What's going to work for my kids? What should I purchase? And so we're going to talk about the research part of it. And that's where my other video about watch before you buy curriculum would come in handy because I am going to reference some of those things. So one thing that I did, and I just did this on notebook paper because I'm not that fancy. I wrote down two different options because if you've been around here for a while, we did unit studies completely, core curriculum from fifth grade up until eighth grade. We used the unit study and we used math. Um, I mean, we would do Bible studies and things like that, but as far as core, that's what we did. We loved it. It was great. He learned so, so much. And then he threw me a curveball at the beginning of ninth grade. And he's like, I just want to do like traditional school. So we did it. And then we would take a break and do a unit study here or there. Um, and that's kind of how our years went, but we still love unit studies. And so I made him two options, like this is my first option. I know you can't see any of this, but this is more of just a traditional school where we separate every subject. And so I had that first, and then on the back, which is done in pencil, so you certainly can't see it. This was my second option if we wanted to go the unit study route. So I wanted to give him options. I'm very much into listening to him and what he needs and what he wants to do. And so I did make two different options trying to include the things that I know are important to him. And so for right now, and I'm not saying, please do not hold, to, hold me to this because I put out my curriculum videos last year and then we didn't do hardly any of the stuff that I said we were going to use. And I, I made a video about it. So this is kind of our, our plan for right now. This is our right now plan, but come August when we're ready to jump into school, this may not be our plan at all. We have no idea. So this is my right now plan. So when I start to research, I write down everything we're going to need. So that would include, I need a, a language arts, I need literature, I need a math, I need a science, I need some type of either history or government, I need um, Japanese I don't need because we already have it, and then another elective. And so knowing what you need is going to keep you from buying a bunch of stuff that you don't need. So I made a list of the things that we needed. And then from there, I talked to him and said, okay, what do you absolutely like you want to see again next year? And that was his math. He said, I don't even care what we do next year. I just want it to be the same math program. And so that was easy. That didn't require any research. So if you have easy things like that, if there's something that's working for your child and you're like, just give me the next level, 
do it. Don't change it. Don't go looking for other stuff. If your math is working or your language arts is working and you can just go purchase the next thing, do it. It's going to save you time and energy and effort. Like, just do it. So that was easy. I was able to write that down on my list. I have like a purchase list right here. And so I do go, I look it up and I write down how much it's going to cost because I do like to show my husband beforehand. So knowing where we can get it from and how much it's going to be, is good to know. And you can shop around if you want to, but this was going to be on Amazon. We buy a ton of stuff from there anyway. And so I just, I knew that was a fact. That was easy. Um, the same goes for our language arts. We have been using a language arts this year that has worked pretty good. I mean, it's not my son's favorite subject, but I feel like it's necessary. And so I was like, you know what? I want to try their high school level just to see. That doesn't mean I have to commit to years two and three of their high school level, but I do want to try one level of it. So I watched, um, I went to the website first and looked through all the samples and things. And then I found people that I totally trust here on um, YouTube and on Instagram that have used this program. And I watched their videos about it before I made it. And I just made notes of it. I showed my son as much of it as I could. And like I said, he doesn't really care about that, but I did want him to know what it was. And so I did that research of going to the website and checking it out there and then going to people that I know have used this curriculum and actually used it for an entire year um, before I purchased it. So I wrote it down and how much that was going to cost. And then one thing you have to take into consideration, I know this is for my son, when we read a book, he does have ADHD and he does better if I read the book and my light just went off. I think the power just went off. I'm pretty sure my power just went off. It's very, very windy here today, so my ring light just cut off. Maybe it'll come back on. It'll be okay. We've got some sunshine, so I bet the power's off because it's windy. It's super windy today. So, I don't even know where I was. I think, yeah, do you hear that sound? My printer's cutting back on, so the power's coming back on. I'm sorry about that. Anyway, so uh, what I was saying was about, he likes to follow along and me read. So the book pack that comes with this language arts, I did have to order a second book pack, and so that is extra money. Could I have taken the time and tried to find these books used? Absolutely. But I didn't want to. You know, sometimes you just, you just like, I'm just going to pay the money. They're all there. I need them. Let's just get them. Instead of me scouring the internet for them or going to Goodwill or to McKay's, which I love, and end up buying way more than I need. So sometimes just go ahead and get in everything you need while you're at that website. Just take care of it so that you're not having to scrounge around for stuff unless you really, really, really want to save money and it's going to be worth it in the end. Just get it. So that's what I did. Now, when it came to science, I did have to research. We did have to talk about what kind of science are we interested in? Um, do we want to stick to one thing for the entire year? And then I got him to come sit alongside me and we looked at different companies and looked at the different things that were offered because there's so many things out there. And so we looked at a lot of different stuff. We thought about some of the things we'd already used and we ended up settling on one because we liked their, um, we've been using their science that it's like an earlier year science and he liked the layout of it. And this one is set up pretty much the same way, but it's a high school class. And so we ended up going with that. So that did take a little bit of time and research and thought. And then um, I did ask him, does he want to do a world history next year or a government? I thought government and civics economics would be good for next year. He's like, nah, I don't want to do that. <laughs> so he wants to do a world history. And so we did sit down and talk about what unit studies we actually have. We looked at, we did the same thing like we did for science. We went to a bunch of different companies. We looked at what each of the histories offered. What did the work look like? We wrote down some of the ones we were interested in. And then that is when I started watching videos about it. And I would share with him what they were saying, or I would show him that part of the video. And so we're kind of going to do a mixture of stuff. And I will share that with you in our upcoming videos. So... This is my last part. It's nothing fancy because this doesn't have to be fancy. It really is just knowing what your kids need, knowing where they are and saying, I'm just here to meet their needs. I'm trying to do what is best for them. And there might be a curriculum that you absolutely love that does not work for your kids and it's going to be okay. You know, sometimes we just don't get to use 
everything that we want to. We just want to make sure we're helping our kids learn, learn more than the day they, the, you know, the day before, just progress. So that's what I do. I look at our wish list. You know, what does he want to learn? What do we love? So that's the reflection part. I think about those requirements. Those are always in the back of my mind, the requirements. And I, and even me, I, and we've been doing this since we are seventh year. I still am like, okay, this is required, but I've got so much freedom to choose exactly what my son needs. So look at the requirements. And then I make a list of, these are absolute. He loves it. Let's order them. And then I make a list of the things I need to research. And so take your time. Just make sure you have enough time to get them in before your start of school. Just because we're sharing stuff on YouTube right now does not mean that you have to run out and buy something right now. What might happen is you purchasing too soon and you get it and you don't like it and you're going to need something else. So really take your time during this curriculum season on YouTube. Just because everybody has it here doesn't mean that you're ready to purchase yours. So my stuff has like been slowly trickling in and then I still have second thoughts and there's still some things I want to talk about with my son. So we'll just have to see. But do take your time and do the research. Watch that video about watch this before you purchase curriculum because it does talk about being aware of people that are paid to talk about curriculum or they're given the curriculum for free. I feel like that changes your changes your opinion on it. So um, just do your research, go to people that you trust and do your, like go and dig on the website of that curriculum yourself. Look for those samples. I talk about all that in that video, but do your research. Don't feel like you have to run out and purchase anything right now. Remember, your job is to pick the best curriculum for your child. So it doesn't matter what works for us. You need to do what works for your kiddos. So make sure you check out those other videos if you are interested in what we may be using next year. Remember, it's tentative. We may completely change our mind. But if you're interested in that, um, starting next week, for the next few weeks, I'm going to be sharing what curriculum I've already purchased for the 2024-2025 school year which is 10th grade for my son. So if that's interesting to you and you haven't hit subscribe, hit that button. You can also check out some of my older videos. I have a lot of flip throughs. We love unit studies. So you'll find a lot of gather round and campfire curriculums on here. So definitely check all that out. And as always, thank you so much for watching.